everyone, happy Saturday. It is the start of a new week of vlogs. Very exciting, I am down in Bradenton to have lunch with Brittany today. So I don't think we're gonna be doing m much other than lunch. So I don't know that I'll vlog anything other than like our food because it's been a while so we need to like have a girl, girl catch up chat. And I don't think we're gonna do any like Kodo or shopping or anything so um, not sure there's gonna be anything from this to vlog, but having lunch with Brittany, and I'll catch you guys later. Well, happy Sunday! I've made it to Lakeland for Code Orange shopping with Jess, but first, lunch. Panera for lunch today. I got the green goddess cob and the tomato soup. Okay, this is just proof that we didn't wear the same shirt this year. We actually did some We're variety. different Halloween Horror Night shirts. <laughs> we didn't go for the obvious every day is Halloween <laughs> this time. So uh, starting with Michaels or TJ Maxx, what do you think? Michaels. All right, Michaels. It is. Year two, the mushrooms, they're back. Did they ever leave? I don't know, probably not. <laughs> This is a new collection that I haven't seen yet. Doesn't look like they have a ton of it out yet, but we're getting there. All the Ashland figures. Ooh, there is some cute stuff in this. Little village pieces, not bad. Oh, well, that's kind of cute. All right, time to browse. Well, another Michaels and yet another strikeout on the Disco Pumpkins. They have Disco Bats. Disco candles, just regular disco balls, but no disco pumpkins. Very slim pickings at TJ Maxx so far. We're still early. We did this like end of July last year, so still early. Jess's favorite, more mushrooms. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> Listen, I don't know who told the Halloween designers that this year was the year of disco Halloween, but I'm not mad, you know? Like, you didn't have to come for my brand like that, but I'm not mad. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is cracking me up. Orca has made alcoholic orcas, <laughs> so you can have like your martini or your margarita and take it on the beach with you and it'll stay cold. This is wild. We made it to Joanne's. <laughs> The rage is taking over. <laughs> the mushroom rage. <laughs> oh, that's like the 50th mushroom, by the way. I haven't been showing all of them, but there's been so many. Oh, look! Skeleton DJ. <gasps> Should I push it? Yeah, push us. Play some tunes. Oh! Ever have an itch you just can't scratch? Not me! Wow. Wow. Bad jokes. Louder your bones together with this. He's definitely dad skeleton for sure. Look at that hat. It's still going. It's still going. Way too long. Are we supposed to stop him? No. Okay. okay. Whew. Okay. <laughs> thought we were gonna oh, that's him. one of the things on Sarah's list. That mirror. <gasps> okay, so by the way, everyone who said I should get the alien skeleton in my last vlog, he's $120 pre pre-sale price so that's a no <laughs> definitely not <laughs> I mean everything's 40% off but still no okay we really struck out this Joann's had pretty much zero Halloween but they do have in sync fabric so that's a win <laughs> I don't know if I'll catch any but there has been quite the lightning show happening on this drive back I don't know if I'll look into any. There's been probably five or six strikes. Right where this gray cloud is. So we'll see. I'll film a little bit and see if I can catch one. Oh well. I tried. Well, I'm glad I came home when I did because <laughs> it's been raining nonstop ever since I got home. Lots of thunder, and I just looked at the radar, and Florida's just basically one giant thunderstorm right now. <laughs> like, pretty much the entire corridor from Tampa 
through Orlando is nothing but thunderstorms, like the entire middle of the state. So, glad I'm home. I am getting cozy to read some more of this. I'm 75% done. Bean is not having a good time. Bean is not enjoying this right now, but unfortunately for him, it looks like it's gonna be raining for a while longer. Um, so I'm gonna get some reading done and then I think Mike and I are gonna watch some more Lost. So hey guys, happy Monday. Colby's looking at me like, did you have to start talking? I was almost asleep. <laughs> Look at this dog. Really, Mom? I just got all cozy. You kicked me out when you had a meeting and I just got all cozy again and now you're talking. The struggle. So yes, hello, it is Monday. Let's see, uh, woke up, did my workout, went to Publix, got the weekly groceries, came back, started getting work done, had a meeting, and now I'm about to do my planner for the week. Uh, it was a good weekend, getting to have lots of girl time, lunch with Brittany, and lunch slash shopping with Jess. And now it's back to the real world. It was a crazy weekend. I don't feel relaxed. <laughs> There's still a lot of fallout from last week's Horror Nights drama and just everything surrounding it. So didn't didn't get a lot of rest this weekend. Feel like, you know did not get a full weekend of mental break, but here we are. So I need to do my planner. Also, Stitch Fix arrived, so I need to do a Stitch Fix try on for you guys today. And another week of work ahead. Let's get this planned. Sign that we had some thunder. Bean has decided that he lives in Mike's closet now. A little bit of thunder. Duh. My poor boy. Doing the full body shakes. He's, you know, the instincts are good though. I gotta say, every time there's a storm, he loves to be in a closet. So, instinctually, he knows where the safest space is. I just wish I could tell him that he's perfectly safe. That I wouldn't let anything happen to him. And that he's in a house where lightning won't be an issue, but my poor boy, he doesn't understand and I can't tell him. Poor guy. Yesterday evening was rough for him too because we just had like thunderstorm after thunderstorm after thunderstorm, but It is Monday evening. I have one last thing to finish for work And then I'm gonna make us dinner um, Some funny things happened this afternoon where we got a scare zone announcement this morning and then this afternoon Universal accidentally leaked the final house, all the scare zones, and the show to their team members. And so that's like all over Twitter now. So 
the scare zones were a surprise. The final house was not a surprise to me, but the scare zones were. So that was a fun little afternoon and uh, <laughs> you just, you gotta laugh. You gotta laugh sometimes because it's like they clearly had this plan that they were gonna release a scare zone every single day and have it be a surprise and then someone messed up and accidentally posted a blog post that was supposed to go up next Thursday today. So it said 725 on it. But today is 7.15. Something went wrong. So now we know all of them. If you were on Twitter at all, you saw all of it. But anyway, uh, I have this one last grant report to finish and then I'll make dinner. So tonight's dinner is chicken alfredo with sun-dried tomatoes and orecchette pasta. And here is my version of it. Looks good. Well, happy Tuesday, everyone. Ah, I love, 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 love the summer thunderstorms when you're home and cozy. It's one of the best perks of working from home is just being <laughs> cozy at home. If it's raining, doesn't matter. You don't have to commute. You're just cozy. The only downside is poor Foster <laughs> is off shaking in his boots because he hates it, but we like it. We're fine with it, right, Colby? He just got a piece of turkey because I'm making my lunch. <laughs> so he's happy. But yeah, making my lunch. Enjoying a thunderstorm. Okay, so this is what I've been doing for lunch this week and last week. Girl lunch. But this ends up being about 530 calories and 43 grams of protein. So I've got like little turkey roll-ups. It's just provolone cheese with some turkey in it. Cucumbers, some multigrain chips or crackers, carrots, the olives that I love so much, some hummus, some cottage cheese, some dips, and that's lunch. Honestly, it's really just adult lunchables because it's turkey and cheese and crackers and some veggies. It's just adult lunchables. All right, well, it is later on Tuesday afternoon. Yesterday, I told you guys I had Stitch Fix to try on, and then got busy yesterday flew by we finished dinner and it was eight o'clock and i'm like excuse me how is it 8 p.m what happened where did the day go so i ran out of time to do it yesterday so now is the time i'm gonna go get my stitch fix box and do a try on for you guys also debuting my alanis morissette shirt that i got at the concert um so yeah stitch fix try on Let's see how it goes. All right, you guys know how I do this. I'm going from my least favorite to what I think is going to be my favorite. I haven't tried these on yet, so I'm just judging on the box and going through it. So we're starting here. First of all, these were adorable, but they're nowhere near an actual size 16. I wear a size 16 currently. These are nowhere close. And if you know women's sizing, you know how that goes, um, which is unfortunate because they're pretty cute, but they're very small. So those are a no. So this tank top is item number two. And I saw it in the box and was just like, eh. you know, it's not exactly an exciting color. It's just like a plain gray. It's really got nothing to it. So this one was pretty much an automatic no for me in the box and then I just don't think for me I obviously have been doing fit for the fog for like over a year now and I actually have some guns like look I, I think I can see it in the camera like I've been doing some pretty good arm workouts consistently like I've got some muscles but if you cut me right here I just don't think it's very flattering I need it to be like a little bit slightly over so I get some more shoulder for me to want a sleeveless shirt. So this one's a no. Well, I did tell her that it was hot in Florida and to send me summer stuff. So she sent me all sleeveless things. Uh, this is a cute little cropped tank. The color is much better, much more flattering. I do wish that I'd kept up with my self tanner. I have been doing self tanner this summer and I haven't done it in like two weeks. So I am back to my full paleness. Um, I think I would like this a little more if my arms weren't quite so pale. But my main issue is 
the pocket right here. I think if it didn't have the pocket, I wouldn't mind it. But it's just plain. And as you guys know, I'm not crazy about a crop shirt because I feel like I just always want to pull it down. But it's not bad. It's not, it's not too short. It's just I'm not loving it. And I don't know if my tan is as drastic. I don't know why I use the word tan because I'm definitely not tan. <laughs> but I can't tell if I really am much more pale here than here or if it's just looking like that in the camera right now. But yeah, I definitely need to keep up with my self tanner because she's pale. So <laughs> this one's gonna be another no, two more shirts to go. Moving on to item number four. I actually really like this one. It does not fit for summer. It is not a summer item whatsoever. It would be a great item for Florida Christmas. Rarely cold here during Christmas. So that part of it, Fantastic. It's got some shimmer to it. I really like it. There's a catch. This material, I'll have to read what it is, but this material is absolutely awful. <laughs> it feels terrible on, it's not itchy, but it's very heavy. And I am someone who tends to run hot. I am all about a cold room. And I just fear that I'm going to feel like I'm going to burst into flames at any moment wearing this shirt. So it would have very limited usage. I think if it's warm enough in Florida that I need a short sleeved Christmas shirt, this is not going to fit the bill. So this one is going to be another no, but I do actually really like it. I just personally, I know that I'll light on fire or in this shirt. So I'll let you know what the material is when I come back with the last shirt. Update, that previous shirt was 93% polyester and 7% spandex. So the polyester and Liz, we do not mix. But this is the final item. And I think she's just gonna keep sending me these because I liked the one that I wore in Saturday's portion of the vlog. That was my Stitch Fix item that I bought that was this style, and I think this is the fourth one I've gotten now. Um, I like it, I like this style, I really do. And I like these colors. I have no complaints about the colors. It's just how many of these shirts do I need in my closet? And I currently have three that are this style from Stitch Fix, two from long ago. Um, one is perfect Cabana Bay colors, so if I'm going to Cabana Bay, that's usually the one I pick. Um, another one's like a really nice bright purple. And then I have the one I wore Saturday. So I don't have a need to have this one too. I do like it, but I just don't need that many of this style of shirt. I would have to really love it to buy it. So that is another dud box from Stitch Fix, but it's okay. It is okay because like I said last month, we are nearing Halloween spooky season shopping. I've already spent so much on Halloween Horror Nights with the $900 passes <laughs> last week. And we're almost to the point where I'm gonna be wanting to look for spooky shirts to wear in the fog. And so the less money I spend on other clothes right now, the better. So it's a zero box again, we shall see. I'll probably put in the next box because that'll be the August box that I'm looking for any sort of fall colored lightweight item she has to try to look for Halloween Horror Nights items through Stitch Fix. So we'll see how that goes, but it's a free box this time. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight. Pork and grape tomato saute with balsamic butter asparagus. Gotta say it looks a little messy on the plate cause the sauce, the butter sauce is just kind of running everywhere, but there it is. Looks fresh and beautiful. Hello everyone, happy Thursday. Uh, I did not realize my cheeks were this rosy. <laughs> They're not even hot, I don't know what's going on. I did not put on makeup on, but 
I ran out because today they released the Stranger Things candles at Bath and Body Works. So I've got my Palace Arcade shirt on and there's four different scents. I almost said flavors, but you don't eat candles. <laughs> One of them is pineapple pizza. And I was not about to order a pineapple pizza candle online without smelling it. So there's pineapple pizza, there's waffles, there's coffee and contemplation, and there's a Scoops Ahoy scent. So I'm gonna go in, test them, and we'll see what I end up buying. Probably the coffee and contemplation because I love coffee flavored, see, <laughs> coffee scented candles. But I really wanted to come see this pineapple pizza candle. They know what they're doing. So here I am, let's go see. Well, it was a very quick trip. <laughs> they had a very nice associate who was working right at the front door, which is where the display was, and she was very talkative. So I couldn't talk to you guys and show you the candles because she wanted to talk to me the entire time. Plus, they're right next to the door, so I was already conscious of the fact that if I lingered too long waiting for her to leave that it might look sketchy. So. I kind of lingered for a while, picked out the ones I wanted, went back and just took a quick clip of them, but I couldn't hang out very long because I didn't want to look shady. But I got Argyle's Pizza and Coffee and Contemplation. Um, the Coffee and Contemplation is very much like Paris Cafe or any of their other coffee candles, delicious smelling. The pizza one is just so strange, I had to do it. It definitely smells like basil marinara sauce. It says pizza dough, juicy pineapple, and basil. Simply needed to take it home for Mike to be able to smell it too. It was worth the money to have the novelty of it. So I'm gonna zip in Michael's real quick and see if my Michael's is at anything new and then it's back home and back to work. Okay, it looks like my Michael's finally has a good portion of their collection out. I think these are the same little figures that Jess and I were looking at in Lakeland. But this looks a little more put together than what Lakeland had. But I think these are really cute. I just don't think their scale is all over the place. Like this is a giant coffin versus a tiny crypt, you know? They're just kind of all over the place. Like giant sofa like <laughs> so I love the idea of these that are kind of like knockoff Limax but they just didn't keep the scale anything that works with Limax unfortunately so alas so there we have it Argyle's pineapple pizza with the Surfer Boy Pizza logo, try before you deny. And Hopper's Coffee. Mornings are for coffee and contemplation. Love it. So that's the haul Michaels had. I showed it to you. I showed you what they had. That was it. And then also, this evening, we've got this giant package to open from Ashley and Andy because it's Christmas in July. So we'll open this this evening. Oh, I think we're gonna have uh, a very rainy, thundery night here in a bit. Just ran Foster outside, but getting some thunder and looked at the radar and it's looking uh, very dark over there. So here it comes, getting breezy. summer night in Florida. Here's tonight's dinner. Grilled chicken salad with peach, avocado, and honey garlic vinaigrette. And there it is. All plated up. All right, it's time. Happy Vlogmas and stay spoopy. I mean, Merry Christmas. So this became a tradition. Look at my burb with a Santa hat. 
It's become a tradition last year where Ashley and Andy send their Christmas gift instead of during Vlogmas, they send it during July. So, eh, my burb. I'm gonna have to send him that picture so he can see he's gonna laugh. <clears throat> Liz, Mike, and the puppers. Christmas time is here, well, at least in July. Hope this July Miss box finds you all well. As always, thanks for all the smiles that you guys bring us through your videos. We are so excited for Halloween Horror Nights this year. Only 50 more days to go, woohoo! We hope to continue our tradition this year, fingers crossed. Enjoy everything in your box and know that we appreciate you. Thanks, Andy and Ashley, and there's Andy and Ashley. I hope I was still filming that. I was reading it, so I might have moved the camera. But she always does a collage of some of my pictures. And I always have to look at the back. <laughs> BB, a boo, a boo boo creation. I love it. I love it. So, well, let's see what's in the box. It's a big one. Oh my. <laughs> All right, I see the giant disco ball to start, but oh boy. Oh boy. Colby. Colby already knows. Somehow he already knew. Did you know? How'd you know? Did you see me lift it up? He came running. Look at this octopus. Oh my, oh gosh. Okay, yes, it is for you, but I have to go through the whole box before I can give it to you. Because I have to watch and make sure that you're going to be a good boy. But Colby's very, you can sniff it. Sniff. No, <laughs> I said sniff. Do the sniff test. Oh, good boy. Okay, I'm gonna have to take tags off and everything, but he's trying to give me pause. He wants him badly. Okay, yes, he is yours, but you can't have him yet, okay? You gotta wait. Okay, you gotta be a good boy. And let's see what else is in this box. There might be more stuff, all right? I see something else. Oh boy. See, I told you there might be more. You don't know what you want yet. <laughs> Sniff the alien. What do you think? Ah, don't take yet. No, don't take yet. Sniff. Hey, that was my finger. Sniff. Oh, oh boys, little bean, you want to sniff? All right. I'd have to take the tags off, but look at the little alien. That's just going to make me sad, though. When he shreds them open, it was just going to make me sad. He is following his every move. Whoa. I want to believe. <laughs> this disco ball is incredible. Okay. Well, this. Ooh. Molasses flavor with sweet sprinkle inclusions. Yum. You guys can have one of those once I finish opening. <gasps> Look at the little straws. Oh my gosh, the cactus curly straws. Adorable. Oh my gosh, that's what I'm gonna be drinking my coffees now. I've been drinking my own iced coffees at home. Catch me drinking them with those from now on. Okay, this is open so it's not just tissue paper. So cute. Cactus earrings, they're kind of turquoise. Very, very pretty. Oh man, we got an ornament. We got an ornament. Hey! <laughs> Mike, come look at the ornament. Wow. <laughs> wow. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Scary. It was a good one. Actually, I don't remember what ornament I just saw. What was that? What, what are you holding in your hand? I don't know. <laughs> if you don't watch Doctor Who, you're not getting the bit that we're doing right now, but... <laughs> <laughs> the deal with the silence is that, like, as soon as you look away, you forgot that you saw them. So they're really, really creepy. I love it. Definitely going with our Doctor Who section of our tree. Let's see. All right. Working our way around. Oh, look at the disco. Oh, Colby's like, oh, hell yeah. So, yes. Giant disco ball. Love it. <laughs> Cute. Yes, all the disco stuff. All right, I think we got a couple more things. Oh, look at them. Yes. Stickers for my planner. 
Then we're gonna use those. Cactus little glass. It's kind of like a mason jar, but it's a cactus jar. Again, perfect for my iced coffees in the afternoon. And there's one more thing to unwrap here. Now I have some suspicions because Ashley and I did exchange some messages. And so I kind of have a feeling where this is going. I need scissors, one sec. Doll, it's so cute. Adorable. So she's been working on this for a while. And so a while back, she asked me to double check everyone's spellings and then Ash passed away. And so she messaged me to make sure we were okay with still having something that had his name on it, that it wouldn't be too painful. And obviously, yes, we still want Ash part of the family and you know, we still have him here and everything. So it's not, it's not like that for us. Um, oh, look how sweet. I love it. Mike, you have to come see the final, the final gift, the final part. Oh. <laughs> Sweet, right? Mm hmm Aww. That's cute. Yeah. That's really awesome. We have to find a, yeah, we'll have to find a spot to display that. That mm -hmm. might go on our, we might have to find, figure out a spot on our gallery wall there because that's mm -hmm. kind of our family wall. Yeah, it could be good. Might have to figure that out, but thank you so much, Ashley and Andy, although I suspect mostly Ashley. I feel like Ashley probably does most of the work putting that box together, but thank you so much. Colby is still watching me intently. He, yeah, he's watching me. He's like, excuse me, mom, that's for me. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that has my name on it. <laughs> So love it. Thank you so much. In fact, before I sign off from opening that, I'll have to give the dogs a little treat from the, the bag of treats you sent. But this is awesome. Thank you so much for Vlogmas in July, for Christmas in July. It made our night and it'll make Colby's next few nights. I don't know how long these toys will last, but forever long they last. Colby will have a blast and uh, let's give them some treats. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll message you, but we really appreciate any of you guys that take time out of your busy schedules to send us stuff. In fact, I forgot to mention it before, but we did get a handful of cards when Ash passed away and they came in when I wasn't vlogging, so I still actually have them sitting over here. And I kept meaning to talk about it and life has been very busy. So Maggie and Joe, thank you so much for the card from you guys and your fur babies. Crystal and Carlton, thank you for your card. Karen and Jill, thank you so much. And Jennifer, thank you for your card, even though you snuck a frog in there. <laughs> even though. <laughs> We really appreciate all you guys and not just everyone who sent cards, but everyone who reached out and messaged and talked to us through that entire period. And just in general, like I really appreciate that you guys take your time not only to watch these videos, but then to send a card or leave a comment or whatever it is. It is appreciated. And Colby's like, stop talking and give me a treat. So let me give them a treat. Do you see they're so fun? Look at those. Colby's like, yeah, I see it, Mom. I'm about to jump on you for it. Sit. Good boy. Can I have a paw? Oh, what a good boy. See? There you go. Foster. There you go. He's gonna run away with it. Oh. Thought he was gonna take it to the to the rug, which is what he usually does. Is that good? Easy. Good boy. Nom nom nom. Say thank you, Andy and Ashley. Noms. Yum. Dessert. Okay, I actually shifted some things around and moved it right here, and I think it's perfect for this little spot. So cute. 
Love it. So we learned a little fun fact about Colby in the past month or two, and that's uh, his favorite snack in the world is Wawa pretzel. And so Mike, when he comes home from hockey on Tuesdays, has been bringing home a Wawa pretzel. And I'll record Colby's reaction the next time that happens. But I don't think he's realized what's happening yet. Oh, the tail's going now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does dad have a pretzel for you? <laughs> Did dad bring you pretzel? Oh, so subdued. That was a very subdued response today. That's okay. We'll get, we'll get the real response next Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> okay, but I'm not going back down. <laughs> uh, this past Tuesday, I wish I'd been filming because he went running across the room to find a toy and then like ran in circles, jumped on Mike about five times, like, give me the pretzel now. He's like, wait, it's not Tuesday. What the heck? I'm getting pretzel? It's not Tuesday? I mean, I'm not gonna complain, but... Mm -hmm. So yeah, just wait. On Tuesday, I will, uh, I'll record Mike's return and Colby's uh, great excitement. This is much more subdued. But uh, thanks, thanks for the pretzel, man. Thanks. Wasn't expecting it. You got any uh, more of that pretzel? <laughs> <laughs> You good boy. Well, happy Friday, everyone. I have just made it up to Tampa to grab coffee with Sarah. We're gonna have a little coffee lunch, and I gotta get back and get to work, but it's a little lunch break with Sarah because we haven't seen each other in a while. So, yay, coffee. Hello everyone. That chatter you hear in the background, that's Big Brother Live Feeds because we have hit the point of summer where Big Brother is on. And unfortunately, this season, they took away the ability to rewind or replay anything that's happened in the live feeds. So I feel like I'm gonna have to be even more obsessed with the live feeds than I have in the past because unless someone on Twitter clips it, <laughs> I don't get to see the live feeds unless I'm watching it live, which is a problem because, of course, this is on California time. So we'll see what this cast is like, but there's been previous casts where they like stayed up all night long. <laughs> and then it would be like 2 or 3 p.m. Florida time before they were waking up because they would stay up all night and that doesn't work for me. So anyway, if you watch Big Brother, <laughs> leave me a comment down below. Um, but it just started two nights ago. So the live feed started last night. I was already asleep when they started, but I've been catching up with what's been happening. Um, obviously I had a really good time with Sarah getting coffee earlier. And now the workday is done. It's raining. It's a nice cozy rainy Friday night. It is a Joe Bob night. So I don't know what the movie is, but we've got Joe Bob later tonight. And I need to figure out some dinner for us. I think I might just do veggie burgers or something simple tonight because I haven't defrosted anything from Chef Ami. Basically, I usually keep one thing out and then freeze everything else um, and then just defrost it. So we're not gonna do a Chef Ami tonight. So that means veggie burgers, some sort of Asian noodles or something out of the pantry. Um, We'll figure it out, but Friday. So I feel like it was kind of a weird week in the vlog. I feel like I didn't vlog that much over the weekend because I had so many girls days. <laughs> and then I know we had the package that arrived. Oh, but I had Stitch Fix, right? So Stitch Fix happened. So I think, you know, there's a little bit, but this week was mostly just work and hanging out with my girlfriends which was really nice it was, it was really nice to get to see three of my female besties this week all in a row um and catch up with them i hadn't seen sarah since i guess i guess it was mardi gras the mardi gras we did together i think that was the last time we hung out um just because we've both been so busy so that was really nice did i see her after that i don't remember anyway 
very nice to see her and plan for Halloween Horror Nights. Um, she's one of the people that did not get Express, but we have figured out a way to get her Express, worst case scenario. So worst case scenario, she will end up having Express because we have another friend who got Express and now regrets it because none of their friends got Express. So they're gonna end up transferring tickets, it sounds like. So that problem is solved. So I will have Sarah in the fog with me most of the nights, which makes me happy because she and I spent, I think the most nights of Horror Nights last year were, were me and Sarah together. So I am very glad that we have a solution for her to have Express. Who knows, maybe they'll sell more, but at least that problem is solved. I think at this point, almost all of my friends have purchased some sort of ticket. Maybe four of my friends who got the ticket they wanted. Everybody else has some sort of consolation ticket and is hoping to upgrade to the ticket they actually want. And there's all sorts of varieties. People that have Frequent Fear regular that want Express. People that got Rush of Fear with Express hoping to be able to get Frequent Fear with Express in the future. There's a whole lot of people waiting around, um, but I think I'm down to maybe one or two friends who haven't bought some sort of ticket. Everyone else has accepted that this might be the reality and purchased something. It's gonna get hectic and crazy trying to figure out who has what and how we're gonna make all this work, but um, this week is ending a little more peacefully than last week did. Uh, are people happy? No. A lot of people are still very unhappy about it. Um, a lot of people begrudgingly bought the tickets that they have, but there's still a lot of time. We'll see what happens. So that's kind of where things are at. And uh, I'm gonna go figure this out some dinner, get cozy, probably do some more reading. I am almost done with Silver Flame. I'm like 86% done. So I might finish that tonight before Joe Bob. We'll see how fast I can read and it's gonna be a lovely cozy rainy night at home i love rainy friday nights perfection <laughs> well hey guys this is gonna be deja vu from last week because last week i finished the vlog on a saturday uh morning wearing the same shirt <laughs> but oh my goodness the puppers <laughs> are ready to go out we're about to go out and meet my parents for lunch but I'm gonna end this week's vlog. Joe Bob was a weird one last night. It was from 1962, Carnival of Souls. But I need to take out this pupper. So I will catch you guys again next week for another weekly vlog. Bye.